Oh! What's up, trainers? Welcome back, motherfucking Pokemon. We got us a box. It's an oldish box, clear back from ye yonder 2017, ye olden times, with the Beware GX box. We are gonna fucking open this bitch up today. This Pokemon TCG pack includes the same stuff that, oh, shit. that all the other motherfucking packs get. You seen the Beware, Beware GX? You see the big card back there? You see Beware GX? You see the little card right there? And then we got four packs. The same as always. We're gonna fucking rock it out. Hopefully before my fucking camera dies. Oh, and we, yeah, that's right. We're also gonna open that fucking Unbroken Bonds, too. We'll throw that in there somewhere at some point. Bam! Bam! Oh, shoot! Yeah, my, 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 my money shot. Oh shit! Uh oh! Oh my god, that fucking card is gonna be so fucking bad. Well, bam, motherfucking beware, GX. Beware the beware. So we'll start with this little guy because this is the first thing that seems to be up and available. Oh, that's not good. I just knocked over all my good cards. Yeah, yeah. I should probably not throw shit. I do have neighbors and all, but... Fuck them. Beware GX, the... What is this? Is this a promo? Yes, it is. Promo, Sun and Moon number 34. Damn. Damn, damn. Okay, hold on. That is pretty lit, though. Why does it look so awesome? Why did they make it so cool? Oh, my God. Bam. Holy shit. This fucking camera's about to die, and that shit pisses me off so fucking bad. I'm gonna have to stop the fucking video just to charge it. Is that that's fucking some shit? Evolves from stuffle, stuffing yo mouth full of dick. Um, I don't have. A, why do I never have a fucking knife nearby when I fucking need it? Motherfucking MacGyver, yeah, yeah. Sun and Moon, Unbroken Bonds. That's fucking, that pack is lit as fuck. We'll, we'll slide that boy in there right at the back, and we'll open that just before the evolutions. Bringing our total cards to five. A nice uneven number for all my spastic, chaotic, evil people out there. First off, we'll start off with the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Welcome to Pokemon. How goes it? Oh shit. Starting off with a Dublé right off the motherfucking front. Right off the motherfucking front. First thing we're going to do is give away the code card to begin our blood sacrifice. Welcome and thank you for watching. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, I think, I think he thunkle with this pack. We go one, two, three, to the front, flipping us around, correct, maybe? Yes, to reveal us my motherfucking curse. Flipping us around, first card, first pack, to reveal us energy recycler. Alright, done. Well, at least shuffle five basic energy cards for me. Ooh, ooh. Well, that's at least a pretty lit card. One, number 123 of 145 of the super lit set. Ooh, okay, into yet another awesome card, a supporter, a Mallow. I actually don't think I have this card. I think either both of these cards are actually brand new. Anything that's new is good for me. Mallow, she be chillin', she be chillin'. It looks like she's uh, making a stew or some fucking shit. You out, you out in the woods making a stew? Into a pseudo wudo, the fucking tree boy. Look at that boy with his tree branches. The branchy boy, the absolute branchy boy. Number six, 66 of 145, we've got us a motherfucking pseudo wudo, the tree boy. The absolute tree boy. Oh, and our first devil of the pack, motherfucking nose pass. Seen him on the front, called him out as a duble. Duble for me. Into a Talo. Okay, a Talo. Talo. Uh, 103 of 145, Mr. Motherfucking Flyboy Pokemon. We've got, yep, the Tiny Swallow Pokemon. Well, alright then. Brand new card for me, though, so that's awesome. Into a Rock Rough. Uh, rough Rocks, TikToks, and Tough Times. I think I have this fucking card. I'm pretty fucking sure I have that Rock Rough. Quite an excellent Rock Rough. Look at that boy. He'd be chilling. He's just having a great old time out there in the 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 desert. Question mark number 73 or 145, Mr. Boy, uh, Mr. Rock Rough be chilling. Goo! 
Ivy. A fucking awesome Pokemon. <laughs> I really liked this dude's arc in the fucking series. Uh, these office issue Pokemon, this is an unfortunate double, but an absolute adorable double for me. Goomy number... Where are you, my boy? Number 94 of 145. The Goober. The Goober Pokemon. He's a Goober. You're just a goofy Goober. Into Slowbo. An awesome yet adorable motherfucker just chilling lazy. The absolute lazy. Yeah, the dopey Pokemon is right. He's just lazing about in a field. Uh, an unfortunate... Into the... Fuck yes, our motherfucking reverse card. Holy shit. And a Lolan Golem. Holy fucking shit. Number 42 of 145, a fucking reverse. Dude. Golem. A Lolan Golem. Oh my goodness. Into our final card of the first pack. Are we gonna get you something later? Are we gonna get left out in the dark? Oh, man. Well, hold on, okay. I mean, we did just get a Rayquaza. That's pretty fucking lit. I'm not gonna lie. That's a... In the Sky High Pokemon. Yeah, that's a legendary. But, like, one of those things where you where you feel very torn because you want it to be, like, a really good card, but it's, like, still, like, a pretty awesome card, so you can't really be that upset with it. <laughs> Look at that dude, Rayquaza, number 106 of 145. Into the next pack, coming with, at you with the Steam Siege, XY Steam Siege. Oh, that's fucking interesting. That's fucking interesting. It went the other way. That's fucking weird. All right, then. And I think with this pack, we go one, two, three to the front, flip us around. Hopefully did not reveal card two. No! I think it's just one, two, three to the front, and we're not going to flip anything the fuck around, because that's not right, apparently. Steam Siege, like, okay, interesting. All right, into a Fletchender. Motherfucking Fletchender. That's okay, cool, because, again, everything, brand new cards, 95 and 114. Brand new card for me. Into a Skip Loom, yes, yet another. Another gorgeous four of 114 that's pretty cool and to yet another oh the evolution I see of hop hip running in the fields with some dandelions just having a good old time with his boys his his flower boys it is yet another gorgeous new card for me into oh the claw fossil of anorith okay it evolves you take this and it evolves into you can evolve it into an anorith literally in in the TCG that's pretty lit into a chimchar what dude he just the chimp Pokemon. Yeah, he just took a... Dude. Oh, here we go. Alright, the gas made in its belly burns from its rear end. Oh my god. The fire burns weakly when it feels sick. That's gross. Oh my... So it literally just farts fire? If This is a Pokemon that farts fire. 18 of 114. Chimchar. The farting fire Pokemon. Into a rufflet, the eaglet Pokemon. What does it say about this boy? Their frequent fights help them to become stronger. 92 of 114. Motherfucking, what was it? Rufflet. Ooh, the eaglet Pokemon. Basic. Just uh, just run it in the sand. That would be a great mount on, like, fucking Black Desert Online or something. Into a, we got a sage. Ooh, look at that boy. Okay. 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 Shellos. Couple Shellos just having a great old time. The sea slug Pokemon just having a great time on the, uh, on the sea. Its, its shape and coloration vary depending on its habitat. Okay, so is this just a standard shell house? Is this so as, I don't understand, is this an Alolan? Hmm, well it's Steam Siege, that's pretty old, isn't it? Did Sun and Moon exist? I don't fucking know. Anyway, anyway, shell house. I would love to see shell house from another world, is what I'm saying. For, from another, uh, another, uh, habitat. Clauncher into a, whoa, what the fuck is that? The water gun Pokemon? The shrimp boy, the shrimp boy kind of like a crab lobster thing? Through controlled explosions of internal gas can spell water like a pistol shot at close distances it can shatter a rock. What? What? 33 of 114, that boy, that sounds terrifying. And he doesn't even use that attack, it just has double pincers. I guess those hurt more. Holy shit. Damn, son. I then, into our next card, we've got to say Meowth, Meowth, and uh, Meowth ended up, oh, this is an unfortunate duble for me. It looks like he's got up in there with the catch scratch. He's got catch scratch fever. Doors round objects. It wanders the streets on a nightly basis to look for dropped loose change. He looks like he's done a little bit more than get some himself. What is that? Oh, it's a, oh, wait, okay. He's got a flower in his hand, and it's dying before him. There's something going on in the city. That's interesting. The city's dying. Everything is dying in front of him. That's strange. What the fuck is going on? 
now. Okay, all right, so we have figured it out. It's so it's, I guess it's just one, two, three to the front, and there's no fucking energy. Into a reverse Hydreigon. What? Damn, though. Look at that fucking reverse. That's got to be one of the coolest, like, reverse styles I've ever seen. What even is that? Oh, just like a... I don't even know what that... Metal or... No, that's something. I, I gotta... I'll have to look up what that energy is. That's fucking sweet. It responds to movement by attacking. The scary three-headed Pokemon devours everything in its path. Yeah, it's 86 and 114. Yeah, absolutely terrifying. Holy shit. He's just fly, like, flying or something through the city or running. Really, uh, that's fucking terrifying. That's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. That's a whole bunch of nope is what that is. <laughs> In the final card, fucking Steam Siege, are we gonna get some letter? Are we gonna get left out in the dark once again? Please, I call upon the powers of the Pokemon gods. Can we get some great? Please, bless us, come on. Come on, here we go, bam. Oh, are you wait? Oh, man, fuck. Okay, um, a Talon Flame, number, number 96 of 114, when attacking prey can reach up to speeds of 310 miles per hour, finish with a colossal kick. Holy shit. Talon Flame, boy. That's a, the, the absolutely dope Pokemon. It looks like it's in the same kind of city, but something's happening. Something is happening behind it. There's something going on with this uh, pack. Something is happening. Uh, in the world all at the same time it seems like for all these Pokemon left out of the dark pretty lit Pokemon though Talonflame is pretty cool I believe I have I've had a Talonflame before but I can't I couldn't possibly remember I've played so much Pokemon now got to play so much so many of the different goddamn games I don't even know what I've got on all of them now with this pack we go one two three two the front flip us around to reveal us a punch you in the motherfucking face energy I just realized I've been doing this the whole time, and we haven't even taken a look at the big card. Uh, whoopsie doodle. Well, bam! Look at that big motherfucker. Okay, so we've got us a giant promo card, which is holy shit. Every bit is holographic in a giant form. To dare to compare, mon frere. That <laughs> just, I'm reaching, just like I am trying, thinking that I'm going to make this and turn this into the beginning of the video, even though I'm doing it now. Motherfucker Beware GX promo card, giant jumbo oversized, big old big fat boy, look at that boy, that boy is, is large and in charge. Everything is going to shit. All right, flipping us around to the first card, we've got us a motherfucking, what is this, a Gliscor? Glis Gliscor? Gliscor. It observes prey while hanging ex inverted from branches. When the chance presents itself, it swoops. Swoops in to steal your motherfucking bitch. 68 of 145, son of a gun, right? Fucking sweet. We are, everything is, so many, new, so many new cards. So many new cards. I think this one I actually do have. This is actually a Machoke, I'm pretty sure. I, I think I have? As a result of his continual workouts, it has developed tremendous power. It uses that power to help people with their work. Into our next card, we have us a Altar of the Moon. Uh, an unfortunate duble for me, if I am not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I have this card. Oh, yeah, I do, because I've got the fucking uh, Lunala deck. Yes, that's right. I opened the Lunala deck, and this was one of the things that came in that deck. So it is a duble for me into the next fish. A Carvana. Carvana. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, terrifying, terrifying things are going on in that room. Whoa, that's no, nope, nope, whole bunch of nope. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go right into the next Pokemon. Oh, unfortunate Duble for me. Duble, motherfucking Taylor, we're just gonna skip right over you, even though you are a very nice card. I appreciate you existing, but it's, it's, we, 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 we gotta get this done, man. I'm running out of camera life. We gotta get this done. Into Jang, moo, ooh, 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 the absolute bulletproof scaly Pokemon. Look at that, boy. He's bulletproof, apparently. It expresses its feelings by smacking its scales. What? Metallic sounds echo through the tall mountains where Jang Mu'u lives. 98 of 145. That's fucking cool. Look at that boy. I would love to own me a Jang Mu'u and have him evolve into the thing that's like Hakama Ako'o -oh or some shit like that. In the next card, we've got us a Delibird. I think this might actually be a double for me, but that's fine because the delivery Pokemon, I see. He's got, he's got a little sack there. He's just taking a, he's just taking a rest 
He's taking a rest nice by the uh, the beach. Just having a good old time looking at boy. Um, although I naturally prefers colder locales, Delbert and Alola seem to withstand the heat to a certain ex extent. It seems like he's doing more than withstanding it. It seems like he's enjoying it. <sighs> okay, now that the fucking camera's sufficiently charged, we are into a fucking trubbish. The trash bag Pokemon. The an absolutely adorable little art of him in a little clay the little clay boy. Oh, into the reverse card. It looks like we've got to say reverse nose pass. This actually might be a duble for me. I'm not 100% sure about that, but yeah. Damn. I mean, that's pretty sweet reverse, though, but nose pass nonetheless. I've got way too many of them. All right, final card. Oh, shit, I'm so excited. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Final card of the Sun and Moon Guardian Rising set. What do we got? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no fucking way. Wait a second, Drampa GX. Hold on, do I have a? Do I? Please don't tell me I have a fucking Drampa GX. Oh no, I don't have this one. Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. I'm at the point now where I've, I I have another Drapod. I have a different Dra Drapod GX. This is the fucking really good one. Holy shit. Drapod GX, the, uh, what, I don't even know, fucking full out or some shit. Something fucking amazing. Oh my god, are you serious, dude? Look at that, boy. It is so, like, that shit is so fucking intricate. Look at that. something awesome in this pack that's really cool oh man oh dude that's awesome something something else awesome to add to the collection very exciting all right we got two more packs to go through sun and moon unbroken bonds the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and give away the code card because i got some fucking lit on the last pack sealing our blood packed and i don't know how it works with this pack i hope I hope this is correct. We're gonna go one, two, three to the front, hopefully flipping us around to reveal us. Yes, an energy. Punch him in the motherfucker face energy. Alright, revealing us first, we've got us an energy spinner. It spins your energy. Of course it's gotta be a damn water energy, don't it? Fucking water energy. Well at least it's a brand new uh brand new card for me. Something I could definitely be excited about. Into what the fuck? Is that like a team rocket ride on? Protected by an armor-like hide, it is capable of living in molten lava of 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. 94 of 214, motherfucking ride on. Look at that boy, he's, he's, what is that? That's Giovanni, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure that's, is that like Giovanni's ride on? That's fucking sweet. Okay then, that's really cool. Oh look, Green's Exploration. What? 175 of 214, look at that, look at that, that's adorable. Little trainer just chilling, enjoying the green, taking a taking a break from the road before she heads on her way to do some more training. Into our next card, we got us a grub, and I'm pretty sure this is a duble for me, the little clay boy grubbin' just chilling on the, uh, I don't even know, looks like a, looks like a piece of wood, looks like a, a, a stump, looks like a root. It's like a big root sticking out of the ground or something like that. Boy be chillin', clay boy, clay boy grubbin'. If you find it's a nest, you shouldn't stick your hand inside. You'll get bitten by an irritated grubbin'. That's... nope. 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 No thank you. Into Ghastly, the awesome Pokemon. Look at that boy, uh, Mr. Evil Psychic Dude, uh, 68 of 214. It said that gas emanating from a graveyard was possessed by the grievances of the deceased and thus became a Pokemon. Ghastly. 
Bam, and in the next card, we've got us a Gligar. Gligar, the motherfucking flyboy Pokemon. Free flight. It usually clings to cliffs. When it spots its prey, it spreads its wings and glides down to attack. Oh, that's 98 of 214, the terrifying Pokemon. No, thank you. And into the next card, we've got us a Spritzy, Spritzy, the frickin' Sprite. The Fairy Sprite Pokemon. Oh, the Perfume Pokemon. All right, then, that's... <laughs> It emits a scent that enraptures those who smell it. This fragrance changes depending on what it has eaten. 141 to 214. Spritzy, the perfume Pokemon. All right, then. In our next card, we've got to say Do Duo. Do Duo, the Duo Do Pokemon. Number number 150 to 214, a two-headed Pokemon that was discovered as, as a sudden mutation. What? It runs at a pace of over 60 miles per hour. Okay, then. Yeah, that boy is fast. Yippee! What's his name? The Roadrunner. It's the Roadrunner Pokemon. Into the next thing, we have got us. Looks a little. Look at that boy. We have us a Reverse Butterfree. That's pretty cool. That is a, definitely a brand new card for me. Look at that dude. That's fucking. And he can use Solar Beam. What? What? Four of two fourteen. Its wings are covered in toxic scales. If it finds bird Pokemon going after Caterpie, Butterfree sprinkles its scales on them to drive to drive them off. That's fucking weird. Fucking Reverse. Butterfree. Alright. Sun and Moon. Let's see if this pack was worth anything. Into the final card. Well, bam! Uh, uh, into a Licky Licky. The Licking Pokemon. I'm... A contest is underway to determine which one can stick its tongue out the furthest. The current record is more than 82 feet. Oh my god. Your life is hell. I bet your life is hell. All right, into the final, final, final evolutions. We have our evolutions. Can we get something awesome? Come on, evolutions. That's not a good sign. All right, with evolutions, it is a little bit different than, well, it's the same as some card packs, different than, the, than some others. We go one, two, three, to the front, flip us around. Now, there might be an energy cut in this pack, but we don't pull it out here. Oh, look at that. It's the first thing. We we're actually getting the first thing that I got the last time I opened this pack. We were getting a Pidgeot Spirit Link. That boy is dope. Into, but, of course, they do it for me. Um, into a Porygon, the old school classic Porygon, the absolute just deformity. It is a bad, des <laughs> the design gone wrong Pokemon. Into, ooh, what? What? Full heal, remove all special conditions from your active Pokemon. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. In the next card, Magnemite, the unfortunate duble for me, but still an awesome classic, classic boy Magnemite. Uh, number 81, the Magnet Pokemon. It moves while constantly hovering. It discharges Thunder Wave and so on from the units. Oh, it just okay. So it's saying that it discharges all the things from the from the units, quote unquote, at its sides. Magnemite, well, bam. Oh, right. Okay, okay. The pack has been blessed by the Chub Chubby Chub Chub Pikachu number twenty-five. Pikachu. It has small electric sacks on both its cheeks. If threatened, it loses electric charges from the sacks. That's fucking weird. Everything changed. It all changed so much. Oh my god. That uh, it changed for the better, if you ask me. Into the next card, we have a say Machop. An unfortunate duble for me because I've commented on his big fucking arm, his huge motherfucking arm. Look at that motherfucking weird arm boy. Into a Weedle, an unfortunate double A for me. Of course, evolutions. It seems like I've got everything except for the, like the good, the good cards now from it. So fuck. But all right, come on, Weedle, Weedle. What are you gonna do for me, Weedle? Weedle. I'm, I'm getting some good like. These are some good omen cards. These are good omen cards. Into another doodle. God, I swear I opened like the same. I've opened the same exact like combo. Like Machop into a fucking Weedle into a fucking Doduo. Do Next card. Okay. 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 Motherfucking reverse Magmar. Number 126. Number 20 of 108. Found near the mouth of a volcano, this fire breather's body temperature is nearly 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at that boy, the reverse magmar. We can only go up from here, come on. Final card. Final card. The beware box. Final card, evolution's beware box, let's go. Oh, bam! What the fuck? That was upside down. Okay. Okay. Okay, 
hold on now. I mean, I got a frickin' Mewtwo. I'm not gonna lie. A Pocketmon whose genetic code was re repeatedly recombined for research. What? It turned vicious as a result. Oh my god. That's... Poor Mewtwo. The genetic Pokemon. Oh, this would have been... Dude, if I had pulled a Mewtwo back in the day, oh, this would have been amazing. But it is it is just a standard card. A standard Mewtwo, but that's still pretty amazing. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty something. That's something pretty cool to end off on. Mewtwo as our final card. Alright then, well, that does it for our Beware Box. I picked up, as you can see, I picked up something cool the other day. I got some other stuff coming in. Um... I think tomorrow, some, so I got, got a couple of cool things ordered and coming in tomorrow, and then uh, I got another video in the works. Stay tuned for all the cool stuff coming from the motherfucking best Pokemon channel on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, right. So stay tuned so we can, because this, I'm pretty excited for this. I had to get that. When I seen that and I seen that deck box, I was like, dude, I need that deck box. I was like, I need that fucking deck box. That shit is dope. All right, we've got some cool shit coming soon. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. If you opened anything awesome lately, let me know about it in the comments, blah, blah, blah. And as always, I will see you very soon.